In this video I'd like to show you how to configure Qt Sound for real-time live performance. The place where you can define general settings about your computer's DSP hardware is in Qt Sound preferences. Here you find four tabs. Under the tab run you can choose your audio interface and the preferred driver. On top are the settings for buffer size and hardware buffer size. Usable buffer sizes will vary from machine to machine. Lower buffer sizes will result in lower latency, but could cause breakups or clicks in the audio. In most cases, one should try out different settings and increase as much as necessary. Both values need to be powers of 2, and the value of hardware buffer size should be higher than the software buffer. When you start, software buffer with 256 and hardware buffer size 512, you have around 12 milliseconds latency, which is usable for live keyboard playing. If you can't use your MIDI keyboard already, have a look here in the MIDI input setting. Here you see a list of your devices. All is the most common choice. Choose virtual if you want to use the mouse to input your MIDI notes. You can make some important settings for each C sound patch individually. This is done directly in the CS instrument definition. With SR, you set the project sample rate. Its default is 44,100 kHz, like CD standards. This setting has a huge influence on the sound quality. With KS and PS, you set the numbers of samples processed per control block. That means how often control data is calculated. This influences the instrument's reaction time. The default here is 10, but try out 32. That works much better on my machine. And channels sets the number of audio output channels. The default here is 1, so you have mono audio. If you want to have stereo, use N channels too. You can define the number of outputs freely, there is no limitation. The last important setting here is 0 dBFS, which defines the maximum amplitude value. Here the default is set to 32767, the default of 16 bit BPOLAR range. But often it is easier to think in values between 0 and 1, so I prefer setting 0 dBFS to 1. If you want to know more about the configuration, have a look into the manual under Using C-Sound Real-Time Audio.